Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet these really cute cup cozies or mug cozies which can be made in any size. So for my cozies I used a 4mm crochet hook and in this video I am using US terms. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet so videos. So to begin your cup cozy you want to start off by making a slip knot. So to do a slip knot you want to take your yarn and you want to take your finger and you want to wrap the yarn around your finger once and then twice then take the first loop and pull it over the second loop and then take the second loop and pull it all the way over your finger you then want to take your crochet hook go in through the space and pull tight and there you have a slip knot. So once knot. you have your slip knot, we are now going to make our foundation chain. And you can make your foundation chain as long or as short as you like, but your foundation chain must be the right length to go around your cup or your mug. So make sure that you make your foundation chain to the right length to go around the mug. And your foundation chain must also be a multiple of three. So you can chain 30, you can chain 27, you can chain 33, whatever you like. So I am going to chain multiples of three until my chain is the perfect length to go around the mug. And it's always better to go a little bit smaller than bigger. It's better off for your cozy to be too small than too big as it will stretch. So make your foundation chain a multiple of So I have three. finished making my foundation chain and I chained 33. And now we're going to turn our chain into a foundation ring. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the very first chain that we made and work a slip stitch. So you want to go along your foundation chain. So go all the way along down to the bottom and make sure that you are not twisting your chain. So I sort of like to go along it slowly, then get to my very last chain here, insert my crochet hook through this chain. So go into the chain and then take the yarn and pull through both loops on your hook. So yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch and there you have turned your foundation chain into a foundation ring and go back and check that it is not twisted in any places and if it is just undo your slip stitch and redo it without the twist and now we're ready to move on to round one. So we are now one. on to round one and to begin this round you want to chain one and our chain one does not count as a stitch. So now round one is a simple round of single crochet. We're just going to do one single crochet into every single stitch round. So you want to go down into this very first stitch here, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So there we have one single crochet. Now we're going to do one single crochet into the next chain and then one single crochet into the next chain around and just do this all the way around. One single crochet into every single chain and this should be the same number as you chained. So I chained 33 so I should work 33 single crochets in round one. So say if you chain 27, you should have 27. If you chain 15, you should have 15. So just work your single crochets all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round one. So one single crochet into each stitch and I have gone back and made sure that I have the right number of single crochets around. And now we're going to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the very first single crochet that we worked. 
So if you like, you can count back the number that you should have. So you can count back, say 33, if that is what you change, and then go into the first single crochet once you have found it, and make sure you're not going into the chain one, that you're going into the very first single crochet that you worked, and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch. And now we're going to fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail or end to weave in later. So I'm going to cut this end and pull it through. And now we're ready to move on to round two of our So we're now on to round two. And to begin round two, you need to start off by attaching your new colour to round one. So you can attach your new colour into any stitch around, it's up to you. As it's a big circle, it doesn't matter where you go. So I'm going to go into this one here, and you just want to insert your hook into the stitch, take your new yarn, place it over the end of your crochet hook, and pull it through. And then you can chain one, so chain one with your new yarn, so chain one, and we're ready to begin round two using our so new colour. So we are colour. now on to round two, and in this round we are going to be working into every third stitch. So we're going to be working into this one, and then skipping two stitches, then working into the next one, and skipping two stitches, all the way around. And in each of those stitches we are going to do one double crochet, chain one, and then one more double crochet, all into the stitch. So we are going to be doing the V stitch all the way around. So you want to yarn over and go down into this first stitch here that you have attached your new yarn into. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through two more loops. So there we have one double crochet into this first stitch. Now chain one and then yarn over and go back down into the exact same stitch again and work a second double crochet into the same stitch. So we have double crochet, chain one, double crochet, all into this first stitch here. And like I said, we're going to do that into every third stitch. So now you want to skip one stitch and skip the next stitch and we're going to do the exact same thing into the next one. Yarn over and go into the stitch and do one double crochet. Chain one and then do a second double crochet into the same stitch again. So you see we're getting these little V's and now we're going to skip two stitches and into the next stitch we're going to do the same thing. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet all into the stitch. And just continue this all the way around. You want to do double crochet, chain one, double crochet into one stitch, skip two stitches. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the next stitch, skip two stitches all the way around for round two. So I two. have finished working that all the way around and I'm going to skip the last two stitches and into the very first double crochet that I worked. So here is the first double crochet. I'm going to go into this stitch and work a slip stitch. I'm then going to fasten off, so pull my yarn out and my hook and cut my yarn and we are ready to move on to the next so round. So we are now on to round three and to begin this round we're going to start off by attaching our new yarn to rounds one and two. So what you want to do is you want to insert your hook into one of the V's. So we have these V's all the way around and you want to go into the middle space of one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Take your new yarn, place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through. And you then want to chain one. So we're going to chain one. So there we have attached our new yarn into the middle of one of the V's and we're ready to begin round, so round three. three is a simple round of half double crochet. We're just going to do one half double crochet into every single stitch around. So you want to yarn over and go down into the space which you just attached your yarn into, pull up a loop 
and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So there we have one half double crochet into this chain space here. So that is the half double crochet for the chain one of this V. So now we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and work a half double crochet into this stitch. Now we're going to yarn over and go into the first double crochet of this next V here and work one half double crochet into this stitch. So work one half double crochet into the double crochet of this V. Then we're going to go in the middle of the V and work a half double crochet into this space. So that is the half double crochet for the chain one. Just go into the space, it's a lot easier to do it that way. And then work a half double crochet into the last double crochet of the V. And can repeat that all the way around. Go into the double crochet, the space, the double crochet, the double crochet, the space, the double crochet. So do one half double crochet into each of those spaces all the way around. So double crochet into the V, into the space and into the double crochet. Double crochet into the V and then into the next double crochet. And repeat that all the way around, one half double crochet into each So stitch. I have almost finished working that all the way around and I'm going to work one last half double crochet into this last double crochet here. And now I have reached the space which is where we started off. So you want to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first half double crochet that you worked not the chain one, the first half double crochet. And now fasten off and we're ready to begin round four. So now in round four, we're going to be making little bobbles all the way around. So to make our bobbles, we're going to be using a stitch called four half double crochets together. So when we do that stitch, we are working four half double crochets all into the same stitch, but we are not going to complete any of them. And then we're going to complete all four of them together at the same time. And that is how you do four half double crochets together. So we are effectively turning four stitches into one. So you want to work your first set of four half double crochets together into this first stitch here. So into the stitch where we attached our new yarn into and chained one. So yarn over and go down into the stitch and pull up a loop as you would with a normal half double crochet. But you do not want to complete the half double crochet. Usually we would yarn over and pull through these three loops, but we're not going to do that. We're going to leave the half double crochet incomplete and move on to the next one. So yarn over and go down into the same stitch again, the exact same stitch and pull up a loop. So there we have a second incomplete half double crochet. So now yarn over and go into the same stitch again and pull up a loop. And there we have a third one. And now yarn over and go into the stitch for a fourth and final time and pull up a loop. So there we have four incomplete half double crochets. And to complete the stitch, yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. And there we have done four half double crochets together. So now you want to chain two, chain one and two, and skip the next two stitches, skip one and two. And we're going to continue to repeat that all the way around for round four. You want to do four half double crochets together into one stitch, chain two and skip two stitches. Four half double crochets together into the next stitch, chain two and skip two stitches all the way So around. we're going to skip one and two 
Now yarn over and go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go into the same stitch again, pull up a loop. Yarn over and go into the same one again and pull up a loop. And yarn over and go into the same stitch for a fourth and final time. Then yarn over and pull through all of the loops on your hook. So there we have done four half double crochets together. Now chain one and two and skip two stitches. And repeat that again. Four half double crochets together into the next stitch. So there we have four incomplete half double crochets and pull through all of the loops on your hook. Then chain two and skip two stitches and continue to repeat that all the way around for this So round. I have just finished working that all the way around and I have worked my last set of four half double crochets together. Chain two and skip the next two stitches. So now you want to go into your first set of four half double crochets together here and work a slip stitch. And make sure you're not going into the chain one. And now you want to pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn, leaving a tail to weave in later. And we're ready to move on to the next round. So we are round. now moving on to round five. And in round five, we're going to be working into the chain spaces from last round. So here and here and here. So you want to start off by inserting your hook through one of the chain spaces and it doesn't matter which one you choose. Taking your new yarn, so I'm going back to the green, placing it over the end of your crochet hook and pulling it through. And then chaining one. So begin by attaching your new yarn. And now this round is very simple. We are just going to do three double crochets into each chain space around. So we're going to do three double crochets into this space, three double crochets into this one, three double crochets into this one, and repeat that all the way around. So you want to start off by yarning over and going down into the first space, which you attach your new yarn into, and working one double crochet. Then yarn over and go back down into the same space again and work a second double crochet. And then work a third double crochet into the same space. So three double crochets. Now we're going to work three double crochets into the next space along. So one, two, and three. Three double crochets into the next chain space and continue this all the way around for this round. Three double crochets into every single space. So like that, so I have worked that all the way along and I have done my last set of three double crochets into this last space here. And now you want to finish off by doing a slip stitch into the first double crochet that you worked. So go into the first double crochet here and work a slip stitch. And you can now fasten off. And there we have our cup cozy or our mug cozy finished. So just pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn and we have finished our cozy. So you want to make sure that you weave all of your ends into the inside of your so cozy. So that is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and thanks again for watching. Bye!